So, you want to learn more about the plot of Buried Child? If so, you've come to the right place. If not, well, you can just get the hell out! Buried Child is a play that focuses on a small family living in the Midwest that spans across three generations. There's Dodge and Haley, their sons, Bradley and Tilden, and finally, Tilden's son, Vincent, and his girlfriend, Shelley. And boy, do they have some issues. <clears throat> Haley and Dodge once had a wonderful life, a thriving farm, and three happy, healthy sons. That's right, they had three sons until Haley's favorite son, Ansel, ran off, got married to, and then murdered by an evil Catholic woman. Bradley once was a happy, carefree boy with two beautiful, functioning legs until he had an unfortunate mishap while playing with a chainsaw. Now he's nothing but a bitter man who's still trying to get the whole walking thing down. This is where it starts getting weird. Tilden was a pretty successful athlete in high school and might have gone far in his life if he hadn't decided it'd be a good idea to start an incestuous relationship with Haley, his mother. As if that wasn't bad enough, Tilden got his mother pregnant and Haley soon gave birth to an adorable bastard child. As you can probably imagine, her husband Dodge wasn't very happy about all this, so he handled it the most responsible way he could, by drowning it and burying it on his property. Now, Tilden is an insane shut-in, Haley and Bradley are in a constant state of denial, and Dodge has all but given up on his life and his future. Keeping up so far? Good. This is the important part. Sometime later, Tilden's more legitimate and blissfully unaware son Vincent stops by with his girlfriend Shelly to visit his grandparents. Needless to say, he does not like what he finds. As soon as they walk through the door, Dodge begins harassing them, insulting Shelly and refusing to acknowledge Vince as his grandson. Then Tilden enters and Vince gets to see the psychopath his father has become. Dodge convinces Vince to go out and buy him some whiskey while the family continues to harass Shelly. And Bradley puts his fingers in her mouth. Um... This continues for a while until Vince returns as a complete lunatic, hurling beer bottles at the floor and tormenting the entire family, all in front of Haley's man mistress, Father Dewis. Oh, did I not mention that before? Yeah, Haley's not a very faithful woman. In the end, Dodge passes away after making Vince the heir of his land. Tilden comes back to the house with the corpse of the buried child, and everything goes back to being as close to normal as it can get at this point. The end.